Good morning, everybody. I'm at the Thorn Point Trailhead. Uh, it was nice to get up early this morning and head towards the trailhead. It's been a while since I've been out hiking locally. Um, went on a backpacking trip and just been really busy. Um, I feel like uh, the summer months are kind of going pretty quickly, so I'm hoping to get my hiking in. I know a lot of people in the area tend to not go hiking when it's this hot, but um, I say as long as you get up early, you have plenty of water and you have uh, uh, the right gear on, um, sunscreen, just uh, make sure you know your limitations. Uh, so I'm out here, it's summer, it should be pretty warm today, it's in the 40s right now, but the sun is really uh, warming up very quickly. Um, so I'm going to head up to Thorn Point, there's a lookout tower at the top. Uh, I'm also hoping to head towards San Guillermo Mountain as well, both on the Sierra Peaks uh, 100 Peaks uh, section list. Um, I was here last year sometime uh, when I went to Lockwood Peak through Lockwood Valley and uh, so I recognize a lot of it. It's also off the same uh, Mutau Road. Uh, this is at the very end of this particular road. Uh, it's pretty hard to miss if you keep driving and head towards Thorn Meadows. Um, it's beautiful here. Uh, there was some evidence of the fire on the way. I don't know which fire that was, uh, but it is absolutely quiet out here. Uh, my voice and a couple of bird chirping is the only thing you can hear here. Um, it's absolutely wonderful. So I'm going to get going. I think it's around eight miles round trip. Um, so I'm going to enjoy this very much. Well, I'm probably a mile or so up the trail and uh, I have to say it's pretty beautiful in here. Um, pretty close to the trailhead I saw some bear tracks and they were very very clear in, in the soft dirt there and I uh, got some pictures but so what it did is it makes me hyper aware of all the noises that are around me uh, like if a squirrel skitters through the uh, the oak leaves I you know turn my head really quickly and try to see if it's a bear so so I've been making more noise especially when it comes to going down to lower places where there might be some moisture and some uh, something that they might eat so uh, it's been pretty cool so far and it's pretty flat um, I think this follows the uh, the bottom of this uh, little drainage for a little while then ultimately I start to switch backing upward so uh, so far it's been a beautiful morning I'm in the shade most of the time which is nice because it's going to warm up so this is nice that I'm going to have some shade at the end of the hike too on the way back so I'm gonna keep on going well I made it to the top Thorn Point lookout and uh, it's pretty cool. I'm in the lookout tower right now. Um, it's pretty worn. Uh, if you look behind me you can see the ceiling's kind of sagging a little bit. Definitely in disrepair. It's been abandoned for a while. Um, I think it was built in 1938 but um, yeah it was a pretty pretty steep hike on the way up. Um, there's a little bit of a break right before you started climbing again. It was totally beautiful. There's plenty of places to camp along the trail if you uh, chose to do that. Um, this would definitely make some kind of shelter in an emergency. Um, looks like there's some uh, water coolers here. I mean if you if it was raining and you put these out you could definitely collect some water. Um, old potbelly stove I guess if you had a pipe you could run it up through that chimney. I don't know how well it would do. Um, I'm sure people come in here and investigate, so I'm sure there's nothing really of value in here. Some of stuff under, this, under this tarp. Looks like it's an old bed. An old bed that has since disintegrated. But if you absolutely needed a tarp, there's one there. So I mean, in an emergency, oh, there's actually some dishwashing. I'm oh, sorry. There's actually some... Uh, laundry detergent here as well so I'm just it's kind of interesting to see all the stuff up here um, little water bottles and wonder how some of the stuff made it up here but uh, anyway it's kind of a cool thing um, looks like there's a little bit of an attic area up here I'm definitely not going up there it looks like uh, yeah some insulation it looks like this place once was pretty cool, but um, definitely not anymore. 
Uh, so give you an idea of what the view looks like, which is actually pretty amazing. It's out here. Right there, we're looking south. From here, we can see the ocean, the Front Range. We can see uh, Nordoff and Chief Peaks. Um, it's pretty amazing, actually. Uh, kind of let you realize that's why they put this here to begin with. It's because it has such an amazing view. So it looks like down towards the ocean, it's still a little overcast, and it's been sunny here all morning. That's pretty cool. And uh, let's see if I can get out here. Walk around the edge. I don't know how secure this all is, but we'll see. So then we're looking north, and from here you can see uh, Mount Pinos and uh, Lockwood Peak, among others. So this is truly a great area. Um, a lot of places to camp here if you wanted to camp on the peak. Um, I have to say it's been an absolutely beautiful morning. Uh, it's been uh, it's been sunny with a cool breeze. I mean, it's just the perfect combination. I've had the entire trail to myself, except for maybe some animals here and there. Um, it's gorgeous. I'm just going to have a snack and enjoy this uh, area, enjoy this view, and then I'm going to start heading back down.